YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I am Annie. Today I'm gonna show you a super cute, well, I think it's super cute, a super cute DIY. I'm gonna show you how you can make these tote bag, bunny tote bag. It has ears, it has a pom pom tail, and the straps are ribbon, which makes it extra cute. So, if you like cute, pretty, adorable DIYs for things that you can make, that you can wear, that you can use, that you can maybe give to your friends, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. So let me show you how you can make your very own. I use acrylic paint in pink, white, and black. Ribbons in different colors. I use white and pink. I use, uh, for the fabric, I use this canvas kind of fabric that is very strong and I really like the color. A paintbrush or two, measuring tape or a ruler. The first thing I did was to cut a piece of fabric. It's a long piece of fabric, 30 inches long by 16 inches wide. I folded the entire thing in half and then I took the two loose edges and I folded them, fold them, fold them, fold them? That sounds really weird. I fold them down, fold them outward. And then I sew them in place. Once I had those two together, I closed the bag by sewing the other two sides. So the bag is pretty much ready, it's inside out, and what I did next was open it um, in the other direction. I don't know how to explain this, but I put the seams together, one on top of the other, and the bottom of the bag, which right now is on top because it's upside down, is folded into two triangles. And then I sewed a straight line across the very tip of those triangles. And it looks like this. And then I cut the end of those two triangles. Then I turn the bag right side out and this is how it's looking. It's pretty much ready except for the straps. All I have to do now is decorate it, which is the fun part. So to make the ears, I cut two pieces of fabric that are eight by seven, eight inches by seven inches, and I fold them both in half. Then with a pencil, I drew the outline of the ear and I sewed right on top of the pencil. Then the only thing left to do was cut off the excess fabric and turn the ear right side out. And I did the same thing once more for the other ear. Now, um, with the bag, I'm gonna figure out where I want the ears to go and I'm gonna sew them in place. With the ears now attached to the bag, the only thing missing is the face of the bunny. So I first drew it with pencil and then I painted it with acrylics. To make it extra cute, I added rosy cheeks and the detail for the eyes. And that's it, it looks so cute. For the straps of the bag, I cut several pieces of ribbon at 26 inches or 27 inches. And as you can see, I use different types of ribbon to make it more fun, but they are all cut the same length. I divided them into two groups and then I sew them onto the bag. These tote bag turn out so cute, I am totally going to use it. So to make it more secure and durable, I attach 
four little squares of fabric on top of the ribbon just to give them extra strength. And the last thing I did was to tie each group of ribbons together to really separate the straps. super cute DIY. I hope you think it's cute too, because I think it's adorable. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you do come back, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Bye!